Hi, I'm doing a Madonna series and uh, this track is called Open Your Heart. It was a video where uh, Madonna um, uh, featured as a stripper. <laughs> so that was, uh, that was really funny. Um, or exotic dancer, I don't know, but you know. Um, uh, she was on a, uh, how do you say that, stage that was circling around. And it was like a real peep show. So the man wore in a little, um, how do you say that, cubicles? <laughs> Around this stage and they could peek through a hole if they threw money in it. So um, uh, that was the, uh, the video from Open Your Heart. And um, it had a little boy in it. And the striking thing is that the boy really kind of like reminded me uh, as um, a mini Nick Cayman. So Nick Cayman was, you can Google that, was someone um, with whom Madonna worked um, very early in her career. I mean, very early in her career now, right then she was already an established artist. But um, uh, so Nick Cayman was... Uh, uh, this uh, model from um, a Levi's commercial and uh, later on he recorded a song that I think Madonna wrote it or produced it. Anyway, this video, Open Your Heart, has kind of like a mini Nick Cayman in it. So she really has this thing for uh, Latin uh, American men and uh, well she had a, a mini Latin, Latin American man in, uh, <laughs> in Open Your Heart. Okay, so I created a sequence, open your heart, and um, it's a really easy sequence. It's kind of like, you know, it's really nice. I mean, it should be nice to open your heart, right? And, um, uh, this is, you know, there's a, uh, a little something interesting to tell about opening your heart and yoga. Because it's something that's kind of like... Uh, idealized in uh, a lot of yoga lineages, you know, that you should open your heart and um, uh, the teacher that I really, really admire is called Sadie Nardini and uh, she's got, you know, she's got a little bit more practical approach. She's, she always um, uh, um, says that before you open your heart, before you start giving, you really need to be grounded in yourself. You really need to nourish yourself. Um, so all that comes before you open your heart. Uh, so um, uh, that's a nice thing to keep in mind. You know, don't uh, don't give to others what is really what you don't what you can't give because you need it yourself. So you really uh, should have daily habits that. Um, uh, nourish you and that uh, make you strong and from that place then you can give then you can open your heart the first you need to find your own strength okay so um uh, a nice open your heart sequence i'll be using the blocks later on so you lie down and um take your right knee in towards you the left leg down, just hug the knee in, place your head onto the floor, and just sway the knee left to right. And then you come to center. Now place the left foot flat onto the floor. Lift your leg up. And take your hands behind the leg and just pull that leg in towards you. And if you like, you can straighten that left leg again. And breathe here. And then you release, and then 
then take your right knee further out and take your left hand onto your left hip, left elbow onto the floor. And you breathe here. Or, option two, you lift your head up and you clasp your big toe with your index finger and your middle finger and you just reach the right leg up and from there you open it up to the right. So other side, start by pulling your left leg in towards you, your left knee in towards you, and then move that leg from left to right. And you bring it to center. Now turn your left knee out and take your right hand on top of your right hip and your right elbow onto the floor. Breathe here. Lift your head up and you clasp your two fingers around your um, left big toe. Oh, this is just optional. <laughs> and then you take your head back and just reach that foot to the left. your blocks. So this is a lion butterfly and um, yoga wise when it comes to heart opening um, there are two stages or um, yeah two stages I think. So one is you open the heart <clears throat> so that's the back bend but the other is you open the throat as well, so you bring your head back. So that's really the stronger back bend, and um, um, you you will experience a difference what it what it means for you. So often, it's also really symbolic. Opening the heart feels safe as long as you keep your chin towards your chest. So as long as you keep your other really vulnerable spot here. Um, cover. But the moment you open your heart and you also open this, you literally give your throat, that's when you, you know, that's when all the mental, I was going to say mental shit comes up. <laughs> to say it, that's when all the mental shit comes up. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to do lying butterfly which is, um, which also brings some, some stuff up. I'll explain why. So, you take your feet in butterfly and you take one block, 
kind of like to the back of your heart. So you don't want it poking in your lower back. You really want it high up. So this block is, is um, not in the highest position. It's in one of the lower positions. Oh, you just drape your upper back over this block. So it's really nice. And then you take your other block in the highest pose. Place it under your head. So, lion butterfly is you open your heart and you keep your chin towards your chest. Yeah, it makes you feel safe. But you've got your legs parted. So, this might be, especially if you're new to yoga, but this might be like super uncomfortable and make you feel really exposed, even if you're just in the living room and, and you know, all by yourself. So if that's too much for you, then uh, just skip that part of the pose and just focus on the heart for now. Keep your legs together. <laughs> oh, what kind of feminine advice is that, right? Focus on your heart and keep your legs together. You know, well, you know, at some stages in your life, you just, you know, that will, that will just be your best option. <laughs> okay, so I've, you know, moved past that stage if I ever had it. And um, I can take my legs into lying butterfly. Okay, so you take your hands open next to you and you breathe here. If you have really fallen in love with this pose, then you can just stay here, skip the rest of, um, of the exercises that I'm offering. So if you are moving on to the next pose, oh, you will be eating vlogs, I'm sorry. It's just so hot out here, I've got a fried brain, so uh, <laughs> I'm happy I'm making it so far. You don't need the box. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, I'm going to cut this out. Okay. Um, let's pretend we're just coming out of... Oh, I'm not going to cut it. It's too hot to do any edit editing. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to fish pose without the blocks. The reason I was hesitating, aside from the fried brain, is that I tried this pose before I made this video, so I tried it with the blocks. Can we do a fish pose with blocks? But it was just way too intensive. It was icky. Not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is do fish pose, like I've said like three times now. Um, that will open the heart and the throat. So that's you know that's a different different ball game um, when 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 talking about what it means to open the heart. <laughs> I said ball game. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Take your hands under your hips and place your hips onto your hands. So this is really a really nice and beginner friendly version of fish pose, but I actually still prefer it. I think I made it up myself. I don't think I've ever seen any other teacher do this, but it just makes it so much better. I promise. So you take your legs together and you lift your head up and you come up and bring your elbows closer towards each other. Now from here, just slide your hips over your hands towards your wrists. Maybe wiggle a little bit and then you bring your head back and you push your elbows into the floor, lift your heart up, bring your head back. So this is you opening your heart, opening your throat, keep pushing the elbows down, and then maybe you want to lower your head till it's on the floor. Breathe to your belly. And then press the elbows into the floor as you come up, bring the chin towards your chest. 
and you relax. You take your shoulders down, you take your hands away, and then you move to lying butterfly but without the blocks. So this is really a regular lying butterfly here. It's really nice to kind of smooth everything out. So lift your hips up, take them down, take your shoulders up and down again, elongate your neck, reach to the crown of your head. Your hands are open next to you. So this is a really nice relaxation pose. And you can stay here for as long as you like. And in um, a few days, I will post a really lovely video that will complement this one. It's called Love Makes the World Go Round, and you can do that sequence right after you do this one. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this practice. We'll see you next time.